What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. And we're just going to give a quick one today of what's coming on Monday. I know a lot of you have been asking me. We were streaming a little earlier. And this is our Monday preview. We do it every Sunday. Bit of a unique thing on the channel just to show you guys what potentially could be coming and what we kind of know is going to be coming based on the database and what is in there, right? So you will notice here that we've got an AFC Champions League selection dated for the 25th of December, which is tomorrow, obviously Christmas Day. You've got this selection in here. So a couple of the players that you're going to see here from left to right, including Taliska, obviously is going to be good. You've got Kante, who's down as a center forward. I hope I don't get him if I do spin instead of the real Kante, right? You've also got your goalkeeper. But as you go through the pack, it looks like we're going to be getting Showtime, Ronaldo, Kante, and Koulibaly. Now, I genuinely don't know how I'm going to feel about Ronaldo because I feel like I have the best version of Ronaldo already, the Manchester United club pack. But this Kante, lads, oh my days, he looks insane, right? So we're going to take a quick look at these cards, and then we're going to go ahead and look to see what else might come. Will they do a back with the Legends on the Monday as well? There is a couple of Legends here, right, that haven't released, but that have been rumored to be released around this time that are still in the database, right? So you do have a couple of Bayern Munich players. You've got Cruyff there from Barcelona. You've got Del Piero with new cards. You've got a lot of these cards here that have got all their assets loaded, that are actually up with their stats and all of this. You can go through them. I already did a video. You'll see in a second. I have a thumbnail there to show you the video. But will we get a double dip pack on Monday for Christmas Day? Let's see. I mean, I definitely think they will. Um, I had heard that Cruyff was coming last week. Maybe they'd have actually held him off until this week, right? But we can have a look at them in a little bit more detail tomorrow. We will be back with the training guides and the reviews and all of that. But in terms of actually having a look at the cards here, right? There is the upcoming Legends video. You can have a look at that video. It's in the description. It should be anyway, or else it'll be in my other videos. So this is Ronaldo's card, as you can see here. He's going to be down as a goal poacher. We put him here at a 96 center forward with this build. 6, 10, 13, and 5. We don't know what levels he's going to have yet. Obviously, that will be updated with the Monday maintenance. But look at this stats, right? This stat line here. Offensive awareness at 89. 88 acceleration, which is huge. His balance at 75, which has been an issue with a lot of Ronaldo cards. I think that's enough at 75. Obviously, because you're getting the tight possession at 80 as well. Finishing at 90 with the manager boost. Acceleration at 90 with the manager boost. And of course, the kicking power and speed are around where you need them to be. Ronaldo doesn't need to be more than what he is. He's literally, all you have to do with Ronaldo is get the ball into the box. He's a goal poacher. He's got really good player skills. We'll do a full review of him tomorrow when we actually check out this card in full. I probably will try spin. I'll see if I get any PSN vouchers <laughs> if we're able to spin for him. But to be honest with you, I don't think he's going to be meta, boys. I don't think he's going to be a card that is a must-have. Now, obviously, he's going to have a booster as well, hopefully. If he does have a booster, right, or if he does have a showtime skill, or he has something different to his card, then it could be a possibility where we say, right, he's actually, you know, we don't need to train him up as high because of this stat or that stat. It will be interesting to see him, right? I think the pick of him is going to be Kante. We'll leave him to last, right? Next up, we've got Koulibaly. As I said, I'm going to keep this video short and sweet. The one thing I like about Koulibaly here is his speed. So a lot of the defender now is done by the defensive AI, and it basically is when the defender is not being under your control, where he goes, what he does, and how he handles on the pitch, and what his AI does. And they have kind of tweaked the AI a little bit now to hold your line a little bit more. They kind of hold your hand a little bit more. So we don't need to go too high with the defense on this. Just 11 into defending. We've also got 90 physical contact, which is huge. Every one of his defensive stats is going to be into the 90 zone, including 96 aggression, apart from defensive engagement, which will be 88. We'll get a full review on this guy, I think, obviously, as well, if we do spin for him, but he looks like a beast. But definitely the pick of the pack is box-to-box -box Kante. So Kante, for the last couple of years and the last couple of iterations of eFootball, Hasn't had that many cards, but even his base card was a beastly card back in the day. This is the one I want, lads. I mean, he will have insane ability to be able to train up. This is with a 27 level build. If he has 30 plus levels, I think he could be one of the best defensive midfielders in the game. Obviously, he's not going to have the long limbs of Vieira or any of those cards that you might like to have as a DMF and a, as a ball winner. But he'll be in the Makalele kind of Edgar Davids role that if you missed out on those, this is going to be the next best thing. Brilliant speed, acceleration, and of course, brilliant balance, which is a killer on this card. It's going to be the big killer for this card. It's going to be that kind of like balance is going to just be able to destroy fast pacey wingers or fast pacey attacking midfielders and every defensive stat into the 90s, including a whopping 95 aggression with the plus two manager boost, right? So on top of that, you've also got ball control, tight position and low pass all at 80 with the manager boost. So it's ridiculous, man. It's going to be 
It's going to be a ridiculous card, I think, if he does have 30 plus levels. It's going to be insane, right? So that is it. Now, as I said, we will have a look at what legends are going to be coming as well. But that is it for your Monday preview. I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Short and sweet, to the point, And I'll talk to you in a bit. Let me know if you're going to spin or not.